welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another Two Looks One Palette tutorial. In this tutorial, I am using the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Palette. For both the looks I wanted to create, I wanted to make them nice and simple and wearable. And that didn't happen. One's dramatic and one's wearable. So if you guys want to see the two looks I created, then keep watching. Eyebrows are done. Eyes are primed. Eyebrows, I used my e.l.f. eyebrow kit because I didn't feel like using my brow wiz today. And I used my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer to uh, prime. So for today's video, as you probably can tell by the title and my intro, we're using the Too Faced Bon Bon Palette, Chocolate Bon Bon Palette, for the Two Looks One Palette. And I pretty much know what I want to do for the look today because one of the colors has been calling my name for the longest time. So I'm gonna start out by doing the crease and I think I'm gonna go in with, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go in with Peach Praline, but I'm just gonna use my Sigma E25. Yes, and just pop this in the crease. Next up, I'm going to use the same Sigma E25 and Almond Truffle and pop this in the crease as well. This is just going to lighten it up a little bit and I'll probably end up going back in with Peach Praline eventually. I actually really like how the crease looks right now. It's really like soft and I'm not going to buff it out anymore. I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to go in with this color right here called Earl Grey. This color is gorgeous. It's like a really pretty bluey gray. I really wanted to use this color right here, the purple, which is black current, but it's just the purples in these chocolate bar palettes are so like gritty. I just can't work with them for some reason. So we're going to go in with Earl Grey and just pop this on the lid. So, so pretty. Okay, so I just want to go back in with uh, Pecan, yeah, Pecan Praline and Almond Truffle and pop this in the crease to just help blend out that Earl Grey color to get that really pretty smoky effect. Because some of it did go up in the crease because how did I lip props? I'm going to take this angled Sigma E70 and go back in with Earl Grey and just pat this and rub it in the crease. And then I'm just going to go in with this clean Sonia Kashuk brush and just blend everything together. Really not trying to touch my crease but can't make promises the next one i'm gonna do might be a little weird but whatever i'm gonna take some of my nyx above and beyond full coverage concealer and pat this underneath my eye just so i can get that concealer ready for when i do my foundation but also because i want to finish the rest of my eye before i do my foundation because i'm too lazy to do it like five different times because we're already here so I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk flat like brush. I really like this for my eyes and my under eye. I'm just going to buff this all out. I also just want to get this done and over with now because I feel like it's just going to get messy when I'm about to do next. Okay, so with this pencil brush, we're going to go in with Earl Grey and put this on the lower lash line. Because I'm totally just taking this in a different direction now. Whatever happened to smoky and wearable. I'm going to use my little shadow switch thingy majiggy. This thing is such a lifesaver. If you don't own one, you need one. Taking the same brush, I'm going to go in with Almond Truffle and Pecan Praline. And I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. Alright, so next up I'm going to take this flat brush. I have no idea what it's called. And I'm just going to spray it with some Fix Plus. 
and we're gonna go in to cafe wait I don't know and I'm gonna put this on the inner corner and kind of like feather it out I've done this in multiple tutorials where I just like feather out a color because I think it looks cool before I finish the rest of my face, I'm just going to do eyeliner. Where is my eyeliner? I'm going to use this white eyeliner from NYX. It's just like a retractable one and it's waterproof, which I never knew. And I just like to go like this on my hand because it stains and I feel like going on the back of your hand like that will make some of the color go away. So I'm just going to do the waterline here. This is going to open up the eyes a little bit. Alright, so my face is done. Off camera, what I did was my mascara. I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise on the top lashes. Bottom lashes is Maybelline Great Lash. Lots of lashes. And I did my foundation, bronzed, uh, used blush and highlight. I tried like three different lips and I could not figure out one. And I think this one looks the best. I'm just going to go in with this e.l.f. It's a lip stain and gloss, but I'm just going to use this clear gloss. I already have, like, foundation lips because I've been going like this. And I just think this looks the best. It just makes your lips look, like, nice and juicy because this eye look is pretty dramatic already. So you kind of want to keep the lips nice and simple unless you want to do a dramatic lip. Girl, do you. Eyebrows done, eyelids primed, uh, brow wiz for brows, and my L'Oreal Toll Cover Concealer kit thing as primer on the eyelids because I love that. So this look I want to keep more natural because the first one got a little dramatic. So this is probably just going to be like a nice neutral smoky eye. I'm going to go in with Almond Truffle again, which is right here. And I'm just going to place this in the crease. So I don't know if you can really tell on camera because Almond Truffle is just such a nice light color. But I really blended it up kind of into my brow bone, but not really so I could put a highlight. And I did that so we could blend easier. This is just something I like to do when blending. And hopefully when I explain it, it makes sense. I've talked about this in past, like, oh, tutorial forever ago. Probably like January. But I'm going to take back Almond Truffle back on the same brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is Mocha. Which is kind of just like a little bit darker than Almond Truffle. And I'm going to place this in the crease, but under Almond Truffle. Kind of like layering it. Putting the two colors together is going to help get like a gradient effect. Doing this also helps with like less blending. So when I go back and blend with like a, my Sonia Kashuk brush for example, I just have to blend up here because that is just where it needs to be blended a little bit more. If that makes any sense, you'll see me do it. Next up, I'm going to take Almond Truffle, Mocha, and I never know how to say this one. Bedouin? Is that how you say it? This one right here. And pop this in the crease, but I'm going to make it a little lower than Almond Truffle and Mocha. It's going to go like really in the crease. Next up, taking this clean BH Cosmetics brush. I changed my mind and I'm not going to use my Sony Kashuk brush today. Um, I'm just going to buff out around here and not so much as close to the crease just to give it that more smoky effect up just using my ring finger i'm going to go in with this shade right here called molasses chip and just put this all over the lid next up i'm just going to take my e25 brush the one that i used for the crease and just go in really fast like this just to blend everything out I didn't put add any more product to it either just wanted to clean up that lid next up I'm just gonna go in with this dome brush and go in with the three colors that I used on the crease I didn't go in the correct order but that's okay 
and I'm just going to stamp this like this sort of just to connect the crease and the outer V and the lid all together to make sure it just blends nicely okay so i just finished up my face did foundation all that stuff just wanted to double check that i had blended my neck i'm really good at not blending my neck out so i want to go in with my next wonder pencil and pop this in my waterline really quick before we move on to anything else now i'm going to go back in with the bond bond palette and use this sonia kashik pencil brush i was gonna i was gonna call it a blending brush my mind's somewhere else today and we're gonna go in with almond truffle and mocha and just put this on the lower lash line i'm not going in with the other one because i don't want the lower lash line to be too dark and smoky i kind of want this just to be like a little more neutral and not so dramatic like the last look was Okay, so I did my mascara off camera, used my two seam that I've been using for the past like 20 million tutorials, my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, and my Maybelline Great Lash, lots of lashes. So for lips today, I'm going to use a lipstick I used to use all the time, probably before I started YouTube, I don't even remember, but this is the Maybelline, I don't even know like what this was. But it's a Maybelline lipstick in the shade Touch of Spice. Like, obsessed with this shade. This is what it looks like. Like, it is one of my favorite shades ever. is it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you have not already hit that red button down below to subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me if you subscribe follow me on all my social media that's always linked down below in the description box as well if you guys have any suggestions on what videos you would like to see me do in the future let me know in the comments down below as well or if you just want to leave a comment saying hey please do that too i love getting your comments and i will see you guys in the next video bye